Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the touch bar. So the current touch bar is pretty lacking in features and it doesn't really give you that much customizability. And today we're going to be showing you how to change that. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the video. You can customize the current touch bar under settings and keyboard uh, and you can change things like the collapsed menu and even the extended menu but you still don't get that many good choices. What I would really want is a customizable dock that puts your applications in the touch bar and things like your status bar to show the time, date, and maybe even battery life. But sadly, all of this customizability doesn't really allow for that. Okay, so from here, all you wanna do is open a web browser, doesn't matter which one, and just search for POC. POC.dev is the website. I'll put that in the description up down below. And all you need to do is click download and it's pretty much that simple. It's going to save to your downloads folder and all you want to do from there is unzip it and open the application. I already have the application so I'm just going to quickly cancel it here. So just open the application and it should show up in your menu bar. Click preferences and we can customize your widget. There's a bunch of these settings that you can change and I'll be going through every single one of them. To show you all this, I'm gonna be switching to my camera about now. Okay, so the first thing is, um, if you open up the preferences, which will be in your menu bar, um, you should be able to see this whole thing right here. And I'm going to guide you step by step through all these controls. So if you look right here, it says uh, hide control, control strip. That's just so that when you press this button right here, if you press control twice, it'll allow you to switch between the regular control touch bar and the new one. So if you have some controls in the new one where you don't like, then you can just double tap the control button and everything will be solved. Uh, next is launch out login. That's self-explanatory. So if you just wanted to um, show up like this every time you log into your computer, then just check that. Okay, going to dock widgets. Um, most of these are just, these stuff are mostly for uh, most simple settings. So you can either hide finder, which is on the left side right here, um, I wouldn't recommend doing that because if you do have it, you could quickly access um, all your files really quickly. And then it shows up everywhere. Okay, so that's what Finder does. But in the setting right here to hide it, I wouldn't really do that. Um, okay, so show only running apps. That's another thing for this dock right here. And if you click that, it'll only show up. Oh, that's open. And then um, I wouldn't recommend that either because I like seeing all these applications and having quick and easy access to them. That's the point. That's the reason why I did this in the first place. Um, hide persistent items. So these are the, the ones in the right side here. Like the downloads in the trash can will show up here if you keep it unchecked. But I don't really like to access the trash can from the dock, so I'm going to hide that there too. Uh, open finders and dictionaries inside of POC. Uh, if you unclick that, then it wouldn't show up like that. Um, so I, I like to keep it checked. Okay, so going to status widgets. Um, this one's this side piece right here, which shows the Wi-Fi, battery, and the time. Um, I like to keep all that checked because that's the reason I put it there. You can uncheck that and then it will just disappear from the dock. Uh, on the bottom is actually pretty interesting. The regular time format comes out like this. Uh, 24 hour clock, which I personally don't like. So all you have to do is change the two H's to a small lowercase h and then put an A at the end and then you get um, your regular time. And if you need to like find out how to do that, there's a time format help here, which will take you to this page. Okay, so going back to preferences, uh, there's another thing called control center widget. Um, this one's this uh, middle piece right here that um a, you can just change it however you want these are all self-explanatory if you want extra buttons you can click for them if you don't then you don't need it 
Uh, next is the now playing widget. So this is just change the, changing the layout of whatever is going to be here. And right now mine's the default or yeah, so it shows up like that. Or you can choose this one where it just shows the, the icon or this one, which is a little bit, takes up more space. So I, I like to keep the smaller one. Um, and I like to check this box, which is hide the widget when there's no item playing. Um, that's so that it doesn't take up the space if you're not actually playing a video. So that's it for most of the settings. You can just play around that if you want. Um, if you go back to the menu bar and click customize after you click the POC icon, um, this will show up. And this is where um, all the fun stuff happens. If you don't have the 16 inch MacBook like I do, uh, you probably want to keep the escape key. You can just drag that in or if you don't want it, then you can just drag it out. Um, the layout I chose was, I wanted to choose the now playing at the way left side. So you can just drag that in. Um, I also have just the regular doc, so you can also bring that into it as well. And then for the status bar, I kept on the way right because I thought that looked the most clean. Okay. So you can just lay it out however you want. Um, I'm not gonna judge you for that. Actually, I'm gonna fix mine up here. Okay, and you can fit extra items if you have like smaller, uh, the now, now playing, if it's a little too big, then it won't really fit. If it's smaller, then it's a little better. So that's all this is, there is to it. Um, it's unlike the extension rocket, which just has the dock and then your touch bar. Uh, this one's a little bit more uh, customizable. And um, that's basically it for this video. Uh, there's other features like hide the control strip. So you can actually keep this control, the regular control strip here, which is nice in some cases, but I just thought it took up too much space. So I did my own, um, but that's it. Thank you for watching. And if you really like this video, subscribe. Bye.